Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the families. So we not will create some complex families or the families what you cannot create like in oh, 5 or 10 minutes. We will create simple family but much useful. So uh, before I will do that uh, as again I will create some new project. Let's create a new project because here in this new project uh, I will um, try my families so uh, now i will create some uh, wall and let's place here the some door like two doors and we will place here the some windows let's say like this let's say this is facade of your building nothing special and nothing much interesting i will create the shaded one uh, so and what we're gonna do uh, now i need something maybe something like balustrade uh, between uh, these two, 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 of, two of doors like this I need some balustrade I can use the column I can use even the uh, wall but I need something special so let's go back to the family I'll create new and we will create the new family I will create today two families and I will show you the difference between them so I will go straight away to magic generic uh, face face based this one let's say okay now we are on the plan view so uh, yes I can actually use the plan view uh, let's say I'll try mm -hmm. yeah no I don't want to use the plan view I will change for example to the back view uh, yes to the back view this is will be better and let's draw our new panel I will use the extrusion Mm, let's draw up up to you this is 45 145 millimeters and I will do for now like this now I will use dimension and like this I not will create some special uh, some special parameters uh, we are not talking about that one uh, but I will create something interesting like for example when you will um, when you will slice your plane, uh, your balustrade also will slice and we will looks like a real thing. So I will use here DI, here dimension 60 and here I want dimension 62. So let's do here the 60, like this. So, and let's make it, it, it the size always will be 60. Okay, so 60, 60 and this one I will leave Let's do the same thing. This one will be also 60. So let's close this one. Where is this parameter? Let's close this one and let's close this one. So if I will change, for example, this one, it will be changed like this. Uh, this one I will leave like that and this one also will leave like that because I, I'm not speaking now about the some parameters. So let's finish that. I will go to 3D and we get something like this. So I want it's a bit bigger, maybe like that. Let's load inside to the project and uh, now I will go to 3D2 and I will place it here, for example, somewhere here. So here is our balustrade. Uh, as you can see, I cannot control it. Yes, I don't have any numbers now. Uh, I, I don't have, I mean, any uh, elevation control now uh, because I didn't uh, do that. So I will go back and I'll create for you guys right now and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, go to the extrusion and first we need this one number let's create and this one it will be w and let's make it instance and this one it will be uh, like a new parameter and this is will be like l instance and we need one more parameter uh, which we will create on the reference plane so i will use the i dimension means uh, so this is what it will be a line a line to here now I will use dimension from this side to that one and this one will be height and let's write H instance okay so let's try it here mm, here I have for example 100 something and I'll change to 100 to 1200 let's say okay so everything working let's load it inside to the project overwrite existing and now I can control all my all my all my illustrate here so let's change like 2500 and as you can see this is working perfectly so let's say 
you won't control it uh, by visual graphics. So what I mean, you won't control it not by um, not by numbers like this because you don't know the numbers. Let's say you won't control it just by uh, some um, some bottom like this, and you wanna just drag and drop it. So what you gonna do? Uh, we will create the new family now. So. Yeah, as I said, we will create today some few families. Let's go to the new family. And here we'll find same generic metric line based. So this is pretty same, but uh, actually this thing have one more function. So as you can see, the life I cannot change. So this is really cool because I will show you why. Uh, let's go again to the create, to the extrusion. Uh, let's make some extrusion of this build straight. I will do like this. I will use dimension. Mm, make sure your your dimension going from this middle line and let's make this equal uh, this one same let's create the parameters like w let's make it also instance okay uh, so that's it uh, let's say okay now i will make only one more parameter here it will be uh it will be which one let's let's write the h sorry guys because h already we're using but anyway so, and let's go to 3D on this one. As you can see, we get something strange thing. Okay, uh, let's say we'll close the, all the windows and I will load it inside to the project. So here we are inside in the project and as you can see, I cannot see the my family. So where is it? Actually, you can see here the place on face or place on work plane. What the difference? If I will say place on uh, face, where is my mouse? Uh, Revit will find will try to find the face. For example, face now this wall, or I can use this face, or I can even this use face, or this or this doesn't matter. If I will say play uh, play plan or work work plane, so we should uh, choose here like level one, level two, or just pick. But I will place on face here, and now as you can see, this is strange thing. I can move it somewhere else uh, so this is more useful as you think because this one i can control only one direction but this one i can control graphically everywhere where i want so maybe like this maybe here one more and as i said all these things it's uh, uh separate and i say different so i can make here the 500 for example here you can make like uh, minus 1500 why not and why not so we can control it uh, right here in 3d view so uh, but as you know me already uh, this is not finished i want to show you some more complex thing for example you have your balustrade okay this is really nice and you can say that, yes this is parametric but how you can calculate something from uh, this uh, this model? Let's try to calculate material of this uh, balustrade. I will go inside to the family and we will try start to create material here. I don't like this view. Let's change to the 3D. Okay, better. Let's ch uh, select our model. And as you can see here, the material by category. No, this is not. I don't want it. I want to change this material. For example, first, um, let's change the let's create first parameter. We will cre create parameter and we will call like material material. Why not? And we'll, we will make it um, maybe type. Yeah, we will leave, leave like type. Okay, let's say okay, let's go back to the uh, family types and now we will change material and I will show you how you can create material. First, I want to create material. Okay, good, create material. So we have some default materials, we will change it straight away like a uh, column. Let's leave it like that, column pattern. But um, this is not cool because I don't have any special things. So where you can get uh, after desk material. So you should open and close a set browser. It's here, this button. Just click on that, choose whatever you want. For example, you can find here whatever you want, but I want, for example, this medium blue. Double click on that and that's it. As you can see, my materials was changed on this pattern. I'll say okay. So it's already here, I'll say okay. The second thing, we should go here 
to the family category. Let's check. Now you can see family category, this is generic model. Uh, this is something wrong because, uh, yeah, this is generic model, but uh, we will think this is wall. So we, cha we should change the category to the wall. But you not will, will try. You will not find here the wall. So what we can use? Mm, I will use actually for that type of the material. I will use the column because it is it is can be like a column. So this is column. Let's say okay, and let's load it inside to the project, and we will overwrite existing version. We will overwrite. I will change the color to realistic. I want to see difference. And as you can see, this is my material blue one. Why not? And we now want to calculate it. So the uh, just go to the uh, project browser. Here you will fi find schedules. Right click and material take off. Now we will choose the columns. Let's say OK. And we need the name of the material. Of course, area and name of the material. Here, material name. Let's say OK. Let's put the name it's first after that material. And let's say OK, what we get. So, column pattern for um, for meter, uh, square meter. This is really cool, but we can go more deeper. Uh, as you remember by my previous video, we can uh, create the, some formulas, right? Uh, let's check the our material of uh, this, of this, um, of this column. I will go to the manage material and I want to check the material. Okay, this is my material and it looks like 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters, right? Maybe it's smaller, but let's say it's 25 by 25. Now we will calculate how many we need these uh, pieces. Let's go to the fields and we'll create the formula. So what we need? Uh, let's call the name uh, count, count uh, tiles. We can do like this. Uh, and we will leave a, like a common and I think this number will be okay or no, we will change it to the area with our area, 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 area. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Ah, here, sorry. Uh, we will change to the area and now we will put here the, our area actually. And we want divided bracket and here I will say 2.5 2.5 and let's okay so let's say okay here now it's square meter this is not right I will change it right now so calculation I want total field format decimals like this none let's say okay okay so this is my wrong wait hold on counts title left horizontal calculate fields oh sorry <laughs> the wrong side <laughs> this one and as you can see we get a result uh less than one so we cannot get the titles like 0.7 give me title tiles no so this is wrong wrong because different uh, measurements here the meters here millimeters so let's go back to the fields we can change it here right in the counts we can of course hit change in formatting but i know what not to do i will do it in the under count titles so let's go back and here i will divide it by 100 so and one more bracket and don't forget here one more bracket like this and let's say okay 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 and okay one more thing uh because again point uh, 52 it's impossible uh, we will go field format and i'll change decimals to the z1 so now we understand we need exactly 70 tiles to create this wall, to cover this wall. This is really cool. Now you know how to use my previous lessons, my previous tutorials, and now you know how to create simple family and apply materials and calculate it. So try guys, I think you will do it really best. And the next uh, video, we will uh, concentrate more on the families, less on the schedules, because you already know something in the schedules. But for now, it's that's it. I hope it will be uh, helpful for you and see you soon. 
And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.